What's going on, you guys? Pet Platypus here, and it's time to talk about Attack on Titan Season 2, Episode 5, or Episode 30. Before we talk about that, though, I just want to let you guys know that I have a My Hero Academia episode review out on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing that, and it didn't pop up in your sub box because YouTube is stupid sometimes, it's on my channel. Go check it out. That aside, though, let's talk about Attack on Titan. Ymir is a Titan. That is a thing, and the action is pretty damn cool in this episode. I guess I'll start with that, actually. Uh... Ymir fighting off the Titans, it's really cool, the animation's solid, the choreography's good, it's nice that the tower is CGI because it lets her, you know, wrap around it and run around and scale the tower, and with it being CG, it really, you know, it works, you know what I mean, it's, it's a good use of CGI in an anime, I don't like the full character model shit, uh, and they do that with the Titans, but it's usually in the distance, again, that's pretty good too. So yeah, the CGI was used well in this episode, and the actual animation for the fighting was good. Now for the actual meat of the episode, the flashback, the characterization for Ymir, and Krista, slash Astoria, all that stuff. And a little bit for Reiner, because he's getting pretty pissed that he sees the Titan that killed him and whatever his name is, their friend that died in that flashback. He sees that Ymir is that Titan. So the question is... Why did Ymir eat somebody, if, it, if it's the same Titan? I mean, they look the same, so probably, but... I mean, why did she do that? That's really fucking... That's, like, extremely shady, to say the least. Especially since she is cool with Krista, does save everyone. She can talk in her Titan form, which is interesting. Uh, Aaron, maybe he can. Maybe it's easy to do that. I'm not really sure. Um, maybe it's, like, a retcon, and they can talk now, and they just didn't before, because fuck it. Uh, but yeah, we'll just have to wait and see about that and, Taren, and Aaron mastering his Titan form more. Also, a funny little moment in this episode is when Aaron... It's not really funny, I guess, but it's... He kills his first Titan outside of Titan mode, so he, like, calls it his first kill, which I thought was kind of funny. Not ha-ha funny, but, like, a fun moment, I guess, which is kind of hard to say in Attack on Titan. It doesn't really have very many fun moments, you know what I mean? But, yeah, that was a nice moment for him, I guess, but other than that... He doesn't really contribute much to the episode. They show up at the very end. They're badass. They slay a bunch of titans. That was a really cool scene. But again, other than that, that's pretty much it. You know, that's all they really contribute. So the flashback itself, with Krista and Ymir and the whole, like, you don't really want to rescue this guy. You know, you're just trying to find an, ex find an excuse so you can just die out here in the snow. And she calls Krista on this. And Krista's like, no, that's not it, whatever. And she tells this story about how she knew about Krista and that she was like this illegitimate child from this specific family, and I don't remember all the details, and I'm not going to go into them anyway, even if I did remember, because spoilers, but yeah, we get a little bit there, and she ends up basically using her Titan mode. She knocks Krista out first so she can't see him. She uses her Titan mode, rescues the guy, and then there's this weird thing at the end of the flashback where she says, um, she goes up to Krista, and she's like, yeah, I can trust you, and she says, you know, make this promise to me, um, but then Krista says, I didn't know she could turn into a Titan, so I've, that was kind of weird, I don't know, um, but yeah, the flashback was pretty good overall, I, I like the lighting and the atmosphere and the visuals, you know, everything besides the action did look pretty damn good in this episode, by the way, like that last shot, uh, where she tells her her real name and they're looking at each other, like the art there was really, really nice. Not a ton of movement, but it didn't really need any, it was just a really nice shot artistically, kind of the same thing they did with the Beast Titan, you know, a couple episodes ago. As far as Ymir's characterization is concerned, it's still pretty vague, uh, confusing, like the way she the way she answers questions is very confusing, she kind of skirts around the real question, uh, contradictory statements, she's very shady, she's definitely shady, but she was willing to sacrifice herself for Krista, you know, and that got Krista really passionate, and she was like shaking her fists in the air, and that was kind of a nice thing for her to do, because she's usually pretty reserved and quiet, so that was... Nice, you know, it's cool that these two characters have an impact on each other. Uh, though she was kind of stupid when she started running towards the Titans that were eating Ymir. That was, that was dumb. But then, you know, the scouts come in and save them, so that was cool. But, uh, still dumb to start running towards them, but whatever. That's really just kind of an observation of the episode. But yeah, we definitely need more on Ymir, but other than that, uh, it's a good episode. It, I, when I say other than that, it's a good episode, that kind of sounds like a criticism. Let me reword that. We do need more characterization on Ymir, but we, we, what we are getting is interesting and, you know, kind of vague, but it keeps you intrigued about the character. And is she shady? Is she not? We'll have to wait and see. Well, she's definitely shady, but is she, like, evil? Is she a bad guy? Is she on the same side as fucking Annie? We don't really know why'd she fucking eat someone, because Titan Shifters don't seem to do that. You know, Aaron's never really wanted to eat anybody, as far as we could tell. Um, Annie put Aaron in his mouth, I think, to transport him in the first season, but she didn't 
want to eat anybody. I don't think she ever did. Actually, wait, did she tear someone in half? She might have actually torn someone in half with her mouth, but I feel like she spit them out. So, yeah, that's all interesting, intriguing bullshit, mystery, Attack on Titan, what you'd expect. I'm going to give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was a very good episode of the series. Don't really have any major complaints with the episode. So, what would you guys think of this episode? Go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. You can also give the video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Both those would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here. Click that little bell to get notifications of when my videos go up. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.